so there's this interesting phenomenon that happens after you come back from a break. You look at your drawing, and the first second you go, oh my god, the head's too big. <laughs> and then in about three seconds, as you're looking at your drawing, it's almost like your drawing transforms, and the head no longer looks too big. <laughs> you're like, no, it's actually OK. <laughs> <laughs> what has happened is your brain has fixed your drawing for you. And to be the best drafts people we can be, we need to be not allowing our brain to warp what our drawing looks like and not allow our brain to warp what our subject looks like, we need to be seeing as purely and unedited as possible. And that actually takes training because our, in our lives there are many reasons that we must edit and warp what we see in order to understand the space around us. It's very, very useful to us in many aspects of our lives, but it's a completely unuseful process for drawing. So when you come up to your drawing and you say, oh my god, the head's too big. You have to trust that that is a more correct observation than the next few seconds when you when you pat yourself on the back and say, no, it's really not that bad. So you have to just really trust that initial feeling is more accurate and more useful to you. That's where ego can sometimes get in the way, because sometimes when we say, oh no, the head's too big, our next thought is, I can't draw. <laughs> Or even worse, I'm really not a very valid person on the planet. I mean, it can get really bad. <laughs> so we need to figure out a way of that yucky feeling of my drawing doesn't look how I want it to look. Instead of that being a moral judgment or a value judgment or a self-esteem blow or something that drags us down, we just need to see that as like, oh, hey, little, little flag that goes up that's useful information for us and to reinterpret that. And this is where drawing actually affects every aspect of your life. Because anytime you get that little self-esteem hit, you can reinterpret that as just being a little flag for you to reconsider how you thought about something without any moral judgment and without any feeling like a bad person and without ever feeling like a sucky artist who doesn't deserve to walk on the face of the earth or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's just your brain telling you some information that before you missaw something, and now you're seeing it more clearly. That's all it means. And so if we can remove judgment, we're a lot more open to that. <laughs>